Unboxing time. We have the Breitling B here. This was sent in from Saltzman's in Rhode Island. I'll put a link down below. Let's see what we have. We have a few watches, but this is just the first box. Actually, I'll probably just do them all in one. Uh, Navitimer with kind of like a copper dial on that. So very cool colorway on this one. Check out the display case back. Beautiful movement in this thing. Yeah. These are so cool. One of the coolest chronographs out there. Undeniable. And they really stepped their game up, I think. For sure, with uh, these newer releases. So, let me open up the other ones. I'll just do a moment one. Uh, so, also sent in from Richard at Saltzman's is a Citizen and a Luminox. So, let's get into these. These are both models that uh, new releases or newer releases. Yeah, they both come in these plastic cases. Alrighty, here we go. This one's full titanium, automatic. Looks like it has a diver extension. Uh, let's see, how's it go? Like that, okay. And then it automatically ratchets in. Interesting pattern on the bezel insert. It looks like it might even be screwed down. I don't know if that's decorative or actual. A, a nice vibrant orange on the minute hand and the second hand. 60 click, very chunky, easy to turn. It is slightly shielded, so I don't know that you're gonna bump it necessarily, but you can access it pretty much anywhere. You can get traction. So there's that guy. Let's move this case off to the side. Let's get into the Luminox. Oh yeah, look at the color on this thing. That is pretty fun. So this is a quartz GMT with the tritium and you have a cut to fit rubber strap. The Luminox rubber straps are really nice with a fold over clasp system. This one's called the Commando. And that's pretty wild. That's like a, a vibrant green aluminum bezel insert in there with a compass. Is it bi-directional? It's just one direction, okay. And the tritium tubes are gonna make this so you can pretty much see it in any light. But interesting colors on this guy. It gives it a nice little vibrant pop. It looks like the tritium tubes, it looks like they kind of uh, made them look like they were at the all the markers, but they're really only at the 12, three, six, and nine. And then they are on the hour and uh, minute hand. And then of course the little pip up here. Actually, I think we can get them to show up. Yeah, there you go. So you have orange at the 12, and then green at the 369, and then orange on that hour and minute. But I think there might even be loom on this one too. Let's kill the lights and check the loom on these guys. Is there loom? Yeah, there's loom. And then I will try to get full videos of these guys out as soon as I can. Yeah, so you can see the tritium for sure. And there's loom on the other markers. So they mixed it up. I like that. Citizen loom. Hmm. Not as strong as I thought it would be. I gave it a quick blast too. Usually Citizen loom is off the charts. And then the uh, Breitling even has a decent amount of loom. So there you go, guys. Those videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching.